And I have a 20 second answer to the Fermi paradox. Oh, sure. Oh, let's hear it. Yeah, just, just, the, of course, it's Enrico Fermi who suggested that, because you, you can do the calculation that if intelligent civilization becomes space born and they send a generation ships to populate the planets of other stars, that you could populate the entire galaxy over easily over an evolutionary time scale. So, in other words, the galaxy is 100,000 light years across, uh, so that's, that's quite a ways. But if you send ships to planets and then they build their own ships from natural resources there and then they populate 10 planets and each 10 populate another 10, you can grow that exponentially and you – what's a power law, I guess? And you um, – and, and in so doing, easily within the life expectancy of a species, you can populate the entire galaxy. So his question was, given that likelihood, where are they now? How come they haven't visited? That was, that was the question. So I have two answers for that. So, <laughs> so, so I have two answers. Uh, no, I only have one answer. I think – Maybe they have visited and, and we're so disappointed with our intelligence, there is nothing here for them and they just moved on. Good, harping back to our intelligence question. If we are so stupid, we don't want to think this way because our hubris prevents it. But if we are so stupid relative to alien intelligence, are you going to stop at a planet full of ants and say, gee, I wonder what they're thinking of. Let me stop and try to have a conversation with them. It's not going to happen. So maybe they, in fact, have seen us and have ignored us because we are of no interest to them. And then another thought I had, maybe we were just completely unlucky or they were unlucky and they landed on Earth in San Diego during Comic-Con. <laughs> well, no one is going to notice you. You blend in completely with everybody in costume. And there it is. We've lost our opportunity to talk to Those are, That's my... Hypothesis. It, it, it is curious where they don't show up. I mean, the idea that they're showing up only to molest cattle and chase someone down on a country road in their in their pickup truck after he's had a few drinks. Yeah, at two ten in the morning, right? Ten minutes right. after the bars close. Yeah. If they're trying, to, if they're being cagey about their presence. They're doing too good a job, I think. <laughs> it's it's called the the shyness problem. Right.